Hi guys! It's me again, Nicole Andy Montenegro. And for today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make an improvised polygraph instrument with the use of indigenous materials. After that, I will discuss the functions of improvised major parts of the polygraph before attaching it to the improvised polygraph machine. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. The materials needed are two pieces of 12 inches PVC electrical corrugated tube, two pieces of crocodile type clip, one piece of white cartolina, five pieces of rope, one piece of empty box, piece of 4 by 12 inches textile, one rubberized ball, three pieces of solid metal or nails 4 inches in size, one piece of push pin, one piece of dental pen. Procedure 1. Cover the empty box using the cartolina. Draw the four chasing pen and the sphygmomanometer on the cover. Tie or not the two pieces of tie box on bedded form, then tie the nail at the tip of the tie box. Connect the other portion of the tip of the tie box to corrugated PVC tube. Make a small hole on the crocodile clip, then cut the tip of the tie box to make it split and insert the tip of the split cord or rope into the hole of the clip.
then tie the nail to the other portion of the tip of the cord. Sew the upper part tip of the cord to the improvised arm cuff. Then attach the lower tip of the cord to the rubber ball. Lastly, punch in the tip of the nail to the box. I'm going to discuss the functions of the major parts of the improvised polygraph instrument. First is the pneumograph components. It is used to record the changes of respiration and breathing of the subject, the subject abdomen and chest. The pneumograph component is made up of two units, the pneumograph 1 and the pneumograph 2. The pneumograph 1 is the chest assembly. It is attached to the subject's chest. And the function of this assembly is to record the changes of the subject heartbeat. For the women, it is attached to the upper thoracic. Then the pneumograph 2, known as the abdominal assembly. It is attached to the abdomen of the subject. And the function of this is to record the changes of breathing of the subject. This is the improvised bedded chain. We are going to attach it to the body of the subject. Then, this is the corrugative, corrugated PVC tube. So, we are going to attach it. Next is the galvan galvanograph component. It is used to record the subject's skin resistance to a small amount of electricity. So this, so these are the improvised finger electrodes that we are going to attach to the index finger and ring finger, either right or left. Next is the cardiospemograph component. This function is to record the changes in pulse rate and the blood pressure of the subject. So this is the improvised arm cuff. We are going to attach it to the arm of the subject. Then this is one and this one is the improvised pump bulb. So this is the chemograph. It is a device that draws a graphical representation of spatial position over time in which a spatial axis represents time. 
So the first the first line it shows the chest breathing activity. Second, it shows the abdominal breathing activity and the third it shows the sweat dust activity and the last part it shows the blood pressure activity of the subject. Discuss the things that you have experienced during the experiment or activity. During this activity, I've experienced a bit of struggle in following the procedures indicated in the laboratory activity, but with the help of assembled videos, I finished it successfully. It was also hard to find a rubberized ball because it is not available in the stores. That is why I came up with the idea of having a balloon instead because it can still work as a pump bulb. This activity helps me to become resourceful and being creative by making an improvised polygraph machine with the use of indigenous materials. Do you think that this activity is considerable to the academe particularly in this present pandemic situation? Yes, I think that this activity is considerable to the academe, particularly in this present pandemic situation, because it is part of this course that students will skillfully demonstrate their skills and how to make an improvised polygraph instrument using indigenous materials. These skills will include one's creativity, mental flexibility, and thinking skills in numerous ways, and they will be able to generate new ideas through this improvisation. Even though there's a pandemic, it is still important that students can be able to enhance their skills and learn new things in this kind of activity. Is this activity can be applied the time that we will go back in a normal life? Yes, this activity can be applied when the time we will go back to our normal life as long as you will follow the procedures in making an improvised polygraph instrument and you can be able to provide the materials needed. I also think that it's better to make this activity in school because you can easily approach your professor when you have concerns or questions about the activity.